Everybody, it's Dean Etheridge at DeanEtheridge.com, and I was making a needing to make an iframe for this code tonight, and I wanted to show you what what that looks like. This is an actual link, and I want to try to put it on my site instead of it going to uh, this other link that doesn't get any traffic. I'm trying to capture leads with this, but as you can see, it's on a different site, OptimizedLocation.com. And this is the site I want it to go on, and I've got a couple of places I want it to go to. So basically what I did is I went out to, uh, I put a, a tool up on my page here, but I've got some free marketing tools out there that I wanted to use that for. Basically I went out to this seventh space webmaster tools, and there's also, <laughs> I really don't know what that is, I may have made that. But basically all I had to do to create the iframe was to go to and copy this link. And again, you can go out to 7th space forward slash all this or just go out to deanethers.com and do this. But I hit, uh, I pasted that in there. And if you want to put a border around it, you can. You can, the scroll bar, that's where it puts the frame around it. You can go side to side on the page. I usually don't like those, but sometimes you'll see that on menus or multiple pages on a PDF for an iframe. But in this one, you'll just give it a size. Most websites are going to be 1,300 pixels, 1,370 wide. And this is about 700 to 800 pixels tall. So you, I made it 1,250 by 800, which is fine. I put an old scroll bar, and that would go at the bottom of the page or just on a separate page if I wanted to embed it. And that's the goal is to create a button and have it go off there. Or if you own a restaurant and you want to put a menu up, uh, creating an iframe comes in handy a lot of different times and I just want to make a simple video to show you how to do that so put that in there put whether you want a scroll bar you can change the margin width to cut off some of the the page that you don't want and also the the height where you can cut off some of the page that you don't want as well so uh, just click generate an iframe you'll take this code copy that um, and let's go out to, okay, there's one I really, I made it the right size and, and everything like that. So you can, you can do a lot of cool things, but I'm going to put in this full code. So you would drag in WordPress or if you're working in, a, <clears throat> in WordPress and it doesn't have a visual editor, you'll click on this text link right here. Copy that. I've got my embed code copied. I paste that in there and go back to visual, save it. And you can see that now that's at the bottom of my site or I can use that on a separate page if I want and just have that as a standalone to where it's on my domain, not this other location that doesn't have any traffic. So I really don't want them to leave my site if they don't have to. And this is one way that, that I can get this done. So. But I hope this helps out. You can go out to deanethers.com. I've got a lot of free marketing tools that I'm, I'm putting together uh, for anybody that wants to learn how to market online. So this is just one of those things that you don't use it all the time. But when you do, it's handy to know how to to put up um, to put an iframe into your website if you're a, a, wanting school information. Great for that. Great for restaurants. Uh, has lots of applications. YouTube's or YouTube videos are embed codes. You're going to use iframes for that. Google Maps, you do it all the time. But uh, this video, I hope it does help explain how to simply copy and paste. Uh, go to the text version of WordPress or the, the tab instead of the visual, and your iframe will show up because it's, a, it's basically HTML code, and it will go live as soon as you press publish. So... Make it a great day, everybody, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.